What's up guys, Fusions here. Today, we're gonna be opening up this Bakugan Legends Aquos Ventus Hydronoid X Krakelios. So, let's get started guys. All right, all right. So today we're gonna be opening up this beast of a Bakugan. This is probably one of the strongest Bakugan and Bakugan and Gen 2 Bakugan. So, yeah. And it came in the last series of Gen 2, which is Bakugan Legends. This is the Aquos Ventus Hydronoid X Krakelios Fusion Bakugan. Um, it may not seem like it's too strong just by looking at the Bakugan, but the stats of this dude, they're insane. So yeah, let's take a look at the back. Here we have a character card, gate card, and the Bakugan itself right there. Aquos is the main faction and Ventus is the second faction that it gains when it fuses. Let's open this up. All right, so this guy has been dominating my Bakugan Seasons format on Discord. If you want to participate, you can join my Discord, link in the description. Um, a lot of people have been playing this guy and I'm actually thinking of maybe banning this dude just because he's really strong. He's actually really, really strong. You guys are gonna be able to see right now. Let's take a look at the Bakugan last. First, let's take a look at what's in here which is the gate card and the uh, character card. No Baku cores in here. So let's see, let's see what we got. Yeah, this guy is just too strong, man. Really, really strong. All right, before we actually look at this, uh, I wanna let you guys know that if you guys enjoy the videos, make sure to drop a like down below. If you're not subscribed and you enjoy the content, make sure to subscribe. All right, so let's see. First, the gate card, let's see what we got. So we got a Fennica, it looks like. This is Fennica, right? Yeah, I think it is. Gate card number nine with uh, this dude. I think his name is Ajit. Ajit? I, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but this is the character card, the gate card that we get. But here are the stats of this dude. All right, so like I said, Aquas is the main faction. Double shield for this guy. 500B, five damage. And it does fuse on a shield. So you want to land on one of your shields. Uh, preferably a fusion 500 because you're gonna fuse onto this dude right here a thousand b 10 damage so yeah big big stats uh, like i said if you do grab the fusion 500 b shield you will be at 1500 b and 10 damage with nothing else just by landing on that shield which is insane 1500 is pretty nice to start off and 10 damage so you can definitely go for damage wins plays with this guy if um, a Bakugan in your team has a Flame Fist, you can reroll and land on a plus eight Fusion Flame Fist, and that will put you at 18 uh, damage. And then you can play something like Might of Cyndius, which will put you to 19 damage, and it's super hard to beat a 19 damage uh, Bakugan for uh, a damage wins play. So yeah, this guy can do a combo, which is, I mean, it's one of the most used combos uh, with Hydrogen or Kekelius, where you can essentially just super fuel so you can reroll onto a plus eight damage Flame Fist and then play uh, Mita Cyndius on turn one. And it's just deadly. 19 damage on turn one is just insane. And then again, you can also um, land on a magic shield that another Bakugan and your team can let this guy borrow to get to 1800. So, yeah. Definitely a super strong Bakugan. You really just need those shields to fuse. After you fuse, you just need to borrow a core, either a Flame Fist or a Magic Shield from another Bakugan in your team. And this guy is just basically unstoppable, I gotta say. What do you guys think of this dude? I think this guy is like OP. It just versatility. You can go B power, you can go damage. And uh, I mean, that's the base form, 1010. Like that's insane. But let me know in the comments what you guys think of this guy. I think he's just really good. But yeah, drop your comment below. But now let's take a look at the Bakugan itself. So here it is. Here's this fusion Bakugan. We got Hydranoid X Krakelios. So a pretty nice design. Doesn't look too bad. Um, I don't think it's the best fusion, but it's definitely one of um, the cool ones. I like the details. Pretty nice. I just don't like that um, there's so much green 
when it should be mostly aquas first because it's the main faction and then the details like all this should be green instead of the blue being like the details right because the main faction is aquas and then the secondary is ventus but this makes it look like it's mostly uh it makes it look like the main faction is ventus and aquas comes after but yeah that's the only complaint i guess about the paint but the the mold itself it's pretty nice uh, i've seen people say that it's not the best for rolling that it does kind of flop over so we're gonna test that out right now and then i've i've seen others say that it can actually double core as well so there's i mean if you can double core with this guy it's just it's it's over he's just too op the stats are just too good and double coring with this guy would just be yeah just just too much it would definitely be bannable because Double coring with a strong Bakugan like this is just shouldn't be a thing. Everybody's playing him uh, in my, like I said, in my Bakugan Seasons format. So yeah, um, but here it is. Pretty cool. I mean, not too bad. Uh, let's try to close him up. So I think, let's see, both sides go in like that. And I think you have to hold everything together. Push these in, then kind of just push it down. And it should lock. Not too difficult to close. Pretty nice. Okay, how do we roll this though? Does it ha not have an arrow? I don't see it anywhere. It might not. What? Uh, oh, here it is. Is that it? Yep, that's it. Okay, so I got two random cores just to test out uh, the rolling here. Um, let's see if we can maybe double core? I don't think we will, but um, let's just try it out. I just wanna see it open first. Let's just do one first. Let's try to open them up and then we'll try to double core. Let's see. Three, two, one, brawl. And there he is. So as you as you saw, I put the core right here in the middle, right? And that right there. And it went over and it went to the front. And that's how he can double core. He kind of jumps forward and it can kind of grab the second one. But let's see if it can do it. Let's try to do it again. See if it actually does that. Because like I said, if you can double core with this guy, it's just... I mean, just crazy. Okay, let's try it again. Let's see if I can double core with them. You, I'm pretty sure you have to put it somewhere in the edge, but since this is my first time kind of playing around with it, I'm not really gonna mess around too much, but let's see. Three, two, one, bro. Okay, so that one just went forward, but what it should have done was kind of lean forward, kind of push itself forward and then maybe double core. It's kind of difficult though, it's not consistent. But let's see, but you might be able to do it. Yeah, maybe, maybe. There's a chance, there's a chance. But mine opens fine, I don't think it flops on the core. It should be able to grab a core every time, which is nice. Sometimes, like I said, some people have problems with them, but mine doesn't look like it has problems. Pretty cool. What do you guys think of this uh, Hydronocrichelius? Let me know down in the comments below. So that's it for this opening of this really awesome Aquas Ventus Hydronoid Kirkelius Bakugan. Like I said, it's strong. I mean, just look at the stats, really strong, right? If you can just uh, build a team that can uh, share a magic shield or a flame fist to him, then he can do both. He can go B power or he can go damage. So he is definitely one of the strongest fusions, if not the strongest fusion. Um, is it overpower though? You guys have to let me know down in the comments below. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button. Make sure to comment below uh, for which Bakugan I should open up next. From the background, there's a poll, as always, in the, in the comments. So, go comment. Thanks for watching, guys, and peace out.